Navigating the Compact Touch ABP Ultrasound Platform from Quantel Medical. Compact Touch, the 3 in 1 ultrasound system from Quantel Medical, is designed to combine cutting edge imaging technology with a convenient small size. This video will demonstrate how to set up and operate the device, highlighting its main functions and offering some troubleshooting tips. The portable, versatile Compact Touch can be used for A scan, B scan, IOL calculation, and corneal pechymetry. The standalone device requires no computer connection and can be controlled entirely via the touch screen. The unit is equipped with USB connections for mouse, external keyboard, or file storage device. Setup To turn on the machine, first enable the power using the main switch on the right side of the unit. Then push the green start button on the left side to start the system. The small LED indicator on the front of the machine will appear orange when the power is on and green when the system is started. On the right side of the unit are a foot switch connector and three probe connectors, including one for a 10 MHz B-scan probe, one for an A-scan probe, and a third for a pachymetry probe. Red dots on the B-scan probe and the probe connector guide insertion. The holder for the A and B scan probes are attached to the right side of the unit. The pachymetry probe holder is located on the lower left side of the device's front surface. For the comfort of the examiner and patient, the room should be equipped with a reclining chair for the patient and a seat for the examiner, and the device should be positioned so that the examiner can easily access the patient's eye while operating the machine. A startup screen is displayed when the system boots. A user profile can be chosen and modified by selecting Physician Setup from the bottom toolbar. Selecting New Physician creates a new user file. In addition to first and last names, default values for such parameters as Gain, Dynamic, DYN, and Time Gain Control, TGC, can be set. Once details have been entered, save the profile via the Save icon at the bottom of the screen. Next, in the Technique field, Choose Contact to use the A-scan probe for applanation scans and Immersion to use the probe with a scleral shell and coupling medium. To enter or modify parameters for the use of a B-scan probe, select B Setup from the blue toolbar. Parameters include gray level correction, gain, default zoom, default size of the scan screen, and default format for saving Synloop sequences. Selecting Pachymetry Setup opens the Pachymetry Configuration screen. The Default Selection field allows the examiner to specify the default layout of the Pachymetry Acquisition screen. Four acquisition modes are available. Center only, automatic, continuous, or scanning. The examiner can also choose from eight predefined mapping sequences using the Mapping pull-down menu. Alternatively, a custom mapping sequence can be created by selecting Enter Sequence from the bottom toolbar. The Compact Touch software provides three correction tables for adjusting IOP, Ehlers, Doty, and Dresner, all of which can be viewed by selecting IOP on the right-hand side of the screen. In biometry mode, the Compact Touch can calculate up to four IOLs at a time. Using the pull-down menus on the IOL Setup page allows the examiner to enter IOL information and choose an IOL power calculation formula. The examiner can also create, modify, or delete an IOL file by selecting IOL file on this page. After selecting or setting up a physician, find or add a patient via the Patient File icon at the bottom of the screen. A returning patient's record can be found by typing the first letter of the patient's last name in the last name field. A list of all existing patients can be viewed by typing a star or percent sign into this field. To create a new patient record, the examiner can enter details into the empty fields and select the Save icon at the bottom of the screen. Once a patient is selected, the examiner can enter two keratometry values for each eye. For patients who have had corneal refractive surgery, IOL calculation can be more complex. Selecting Refractive allows the examiner to enter additional parameters that may help determine IOL power in these cases. Touch the Biometry icon from the bottom menu to activate Biometry mode and display the examination screen. The examiner can then select the eye, OD or OS, the probe, bio, probeam or B10, eye type, 
phagic, aphagic, or pseudophagic with relevant IOL material, and vitreous type, normal or silicone oil, via corresponding function buttons on the toolbar. After finishing the setup, the probe can be activated by using the foot pedal or pressing the foot switch icon to begin scanning. During acquisition, the examination screen will display scan images and results of measurements side by side. The IOL calculation screen displays calculation results for four IOLs. The examiner can choose different IOLs to display from the IOL pull-down menu in each result table, and calculation formulas can be modified via the formula pull-down. For post-refractive surgery cases, different IOL calculation methods are accessible via the method pull-down menu in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Results can be saved by touching the Save icon at the bottom or printed by selecting Print. For B-mode guided biometry performed with the 10 MHz B-Scan probe, the position of the cross vector CV line can be adjusted by left-clicking and moving with the mouse or by changing the value in the CV field. Touching the CVA transfer button at bottom right adds the measurements from the selected scan into the result table. Selecting the B-Scan icon activates the B-Scan function. To the left of the image area is the parameter field, where gain, dynamic, TGC, and zoom are shown and can be modified by touching each field and using the gray knob or the virtual keyboard. Selecting the full screen icon on the right side of the zoom field allows the examiner to view an image in full screen mode. Parameters such as gain and TGC can be adjusted by turning the front knob or by clicking in the gain field and using the scroll wheel. The CineLoop function records a 10 second long video sequence corresponding to a maximum of 100 images and is activated with the CineLoop icon. The number of automatically recorded images is shown in the loop field and the sequence can be saved by selecting the loop save icon. Using the CV function via the CV icon on the left, allows the examiner to add an A-scan cross-vector over the B-scan echograph. Changing the CV value allows the examiner to move the CV line up or down. Several image analysis tools, including caliper, marker, and area, can be enabled from the bottom toolbar. The caliper function measures the distance between two selected points on an image. After selecting the caliper function icon, use the mouse or touchscreen to set the position of two endpoints. The measurement will be displayed in the tool result table on the right-hand side of the screen. Comments specific to the measurement can be added if desired, and more can be inserted into the text entry field below the result table. The marker function can be used to highlight and annotate any part of an image that is of particular interest, and can be positioned using a mouse or touch screen. The area function measures the size of a selected area in a given image. The target area can be outlined by left-clicking with the mouse or via the touchscreen. The measurement, again, is displayed in the result table on the right-hand side. To save a frozen image on the screen, select the Save icon and press the foot pedal for more than one second. Or, if using a mouse, right-click and select Export to JPEG. Multiple images can be added to a B-Scan report. With an image selected from the acquisition area or from the saved image thumbnails at right, choose Add to Report on the bottom toolbar. A small Report icon will then appear at the bottom right-hand corner of the image thumbnail. To remove a selected image from the report, choose Remove from Report from the toolbar. Reports from A and B scans, pachymetry, or IOL calculations can be printed via the printer icon from the bottom toolbar using a video printer or a Windows printer. From this menu, the examiner can also opt to preview the report by selecting Preview Report. The examiner can review previous exams from the patient file screen. Choosing Exam History from the toolbar displays a list of all previous exams. After selecting the exam to review or print, press Load Report to display the report. With the key features of the Compact Touch hardware and software in mind after this initial review, we will now turn to the top five most frequently asked questions about this device. 1. What do I do if my B-Scan image is poor or not appearing? Make sure the gain is adjusted correctly, depending on the area of exam. If the gain is properly set, try adjusting the contrast dynamic range for a brighter image. If neither of these works, call a Quantel technician. 2. How do I look up a previous scan or report on an existing patient? 
From the patient menu, click on the last name field. Begin typing the last name. A list of patients whose last names begin with the first letter will populate. Highlight the patient you are looking for and click the exam history icon at the bottom of the screen. A list of all exams for this patient will populate. Highlight the exam you wish to review. Click on the load report icon. If you wish to see only the images, not in report form, click on the B scan icon at the bottom of the page. Click on the thumbnail of the image you want to see. This will load the image into the active image screen. If it is a saved video loop, click the loop icon left side of the screen. This will activate the video. To scroll through the loop frame by frame, stop the video by clicking the loop icon again, then turn the gain knob on the machine. To end your review, click the Escape ESC button. 3. How do I get a printout of one or both eyes on an IOL calculation report? First, create a new patient and add their keratometry data. Next, in the biometry exam page, select the eye, ODOS, and perform the exam. Click on the IOL icon to display the IOL table. Scan the other eye after clicking on the biometry icon. After measuring the second eye, click the IOL icon. Lastly, select the printer icon and click on Preview Report. 4. I'm not getting an ultrasound signal, but my fixation light is fine. Can I try to fix this without calling a Quantel technician? Turn off the system, unplug the probe, and check the probe connector cable to ensure the two pins are straight, not bent, and in good condition. If the probe looks damaged, send it to Quantel. 5. My scans aren't freezing. How do I fix this? If this is happening infrequently, it's probably not a technical issue and has more to do with technique or probe positioning. Ensure that the technique settings are correct, contact versus immersion, and gain is normal. If this happens with all patients, it is more likely a technical issue. In this case, please contact a Quantel technician. Quantel Medical's exemplary ultrasound technology has brought multiple innovations to ultrasound specialists worldwide since 1993. We hope you've found this demonstration of the compact touch helpful. For more information about this technology and Quantel's complete range of diagnostic ultrasound products, please visit www.quantel.medical.com.